Hi, this is Richard from Pagefly. Want to make your site visually striking but not sure how? Today, we're diving into how you can edit and organize your images in Image Manager. Firstly, let's explore how you can access Image Manager. You can easily access the Image Manager by navigating to the general settings of Image Elements or within the background settings of any section. Row and column. Additionally, you can also find it in the cover image setting of the HTML video element, as well as the HTML video source of the HTML video element for uploading video format. Now let's learn how to upload an image. First, click Select Image. You have two convenient options to upload an image, either directly from your computer or from our URL. Choose the method that works best for you. Let's move to the next things. We will learn how to use the Image Manager. Step 1. Access the media files. You can access the media files from the Image Manager by clicking on Go to Media Files. Alternatively, from the Pagefly dashboard, head to the left-hand side menu and choose Extra Functions, Media Files, and Manage. This will allow you to easily locate and manage your media files. Step 2 is upload an image or video. In the media files, there are two ways for you to upload an image or video, upload from your computer or from URL. For the computer noted that the maximum size of an image is 20 megabytes and 1 gigabyte for a video. You can't upload more than 50 files at a time. Now click this button and add your image. Hit the upload button. For the URL, just copy and paste the URL into this box. And here is the result. All the images you've just uploaded will be stored in this media manager. Step three, edit an image or video. Simply click on the edit icon of the image or video you wish to edit. In the image editor, you can crop, rotate, resize, zoom in and out, and adjust the image alt text for images. The changes you make will be saved as a new image in your media files. For videos, you can only modify the video alt text to enhance accessibility. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials and contact us via live chat 24-7 if you need any assistance. Thanks for watching.